cool and rugged and awesome and sweet. Hey Mark, get set, open. Faye, what's about to go down? About to be a homeowner. We're closing on our house. I cannot believe it, but it is official. We are homeowners. <laughs> And it just like, I don't think it's really set in. I don't think it will fully set in until we're moved in, but we kind of are starting to move in. I got antsy and filled the Tahoe with our first load to our house, babe. That sounds so crazy. So crazy. Right after closing, we went and celebrated with Culver's. The best way to celebrate. Dan's feeling slightly under the weather, but Culver's makes everything better. We're pulling up to our house right now. My friend is here to greet us. <laughs> Guys, we literally just got to the house and <laughs> we've got our first delivery already. I am cracking up. Look at this. Our friend got us a welcome home cookie cake. Get you a friend that gets you a cookie cake. Every celebration so far, we get the hooray ribbon and a cookie cake. <laughs> We just got to the new house. I told the kids I'm excited to show them inside and we pulled up and Sissy, what'd you say? You don't like what? The outside. <laughs> <laughs> that was the number one thing that Dan and I didn't like was the outside. Sissy's like, it's so brown. I was like, I know, right? Totally my daughter. Kind but of me too. Let's show them inside. You ready? Keep walking, keep walking. Oh, you're about to fall in. No! I'm just kidding. Okay, open. Ready? Ready, Mark, get set. Open. Whoa. Look at the pool. <laughs> In here. Dining room. This is this gonna be our living room? This is where our couch and chairs are gonna be. This is gonna be my room. Downstairs. Downstairs. Who's mine? I'll show you. Okay, no, look. This room? is Sissy's room. This is my room. This is where you guys will share a room. This is mine. And my then. Soul. No, this isn't yours. What? <laughs> this is me where your hangout is. This is Bubba's, but I'm gonna paint it a different color blue. Well, I need to call the electric company because <laughs> the lights aren't on. So, priorities first, Michael. people. All right, last we chatted, I left off <laughs> with realizing I did not call the electric company. But yesterday, I got the electric all on, and then I quickly realized the electric to the other building on our property is on a separate meter, so I had to call about that. So that's home ownership. I'm learning that there's just things that come up and you gotta deal with them and it is what it is. But I wanna give you a quick tour. It's almost like a during tour. It's not really like a before tour because I've already started <laughs> removing wallpaper and doing some prep, Dan's removed trim. But I wanna kinda give you a visual of the before of each room. That way whenever I do the after video, you can just compare it and it's gonna look so good. So let me show you our new home. I'm gonna start in the kitchen because this is a room that the uh, previous owners fully renovated. It has quartz countertop. It's beautiful. We're not gonna change anything. I may change these lights just because they are kind of big for my liking, but that's not like priority right now. And so this is the kitchen. One of my favorite parts is this little nook. Look how cute it is. You guys know that I have my girls nights and I am not a big coffee person, but all my friends are. And so this is gonna be a coffee bar with two floating shelves, all the glasses. I'm just so excited for this area. The little breakfast nook off of the kitchen. I'm gonna I think whitewash this brick. I just tore down all the wallpaper. We're gonna do all white, new trim, new mantle, and just do two little seating chairs here 
here so people can have coffee and enjoy just conversation here in the kitchen while I cook. I will replace that chandelier because it's so low. <laughs> I'm gonna do a different light, but excited about this space. Dining room, really simple. Rug, table, chairs. I may do like a little armoire hutch thing right here to store some stuff, but I'm excited to have a big table to feed lots of people. Another favorite room of mine is our living room. It has so much natural light and I'm gonna paint the brick to where it's more white. But again, just some white in here, new trim. We will paint all that, do a new fan, a lighter mantle, but just make it cozy and relaxing in here. There's no light in here, so it's really dark, but this is what will be my office. It's a very small room with no closet, and so I have an idea of what I wanna do. This is probably gonna be a project for the fall after I'm done with Bellywood and I have just some time to be creative. I wanna do like a little day bed here. I don't know, put like my full length mirror here or here to do like all my try-ons, but definitely use a lighter color paint to brighten the space up. And our master bedroom, it is really small, but honestly, like I guess it's bigger than our apartment. We don't need a lot, especially with all the outdoor space we have and all the other rooms we have, but just simple bed, two end tables, new trim, probably gonna do some new lights and new fan, but just keep it simple in here. I'm excited because I have my own closet. <laughs> Dan has his and then I'm thinking a TV up in this corner and then just do like I don't know of like a bench down here because we don't really need a dresser so I'm still trying to rethink this area oh the bathroom <laughs> this is gonna be a full redo it may not be a full gut but there's a lot that I want to do but for now we're not gonna touch much because you can put a band-aid over it or you can just deal with it and then just do it later so I think in the fall we'll kind of do something this is still in really good quality so I think I'm gonna keep the bottom half rip up the top half do matching countertop that matches the kitchen do some mirrors there is a bidet <laughs> that I am excited for but also have never used my favorite part so far is it has a seat warmer for your booty the best thing ever and I always wanted a house with a tub so I am so so excited about this this is gonna be the guest room I love all the wood I'm just it's so dark for me and it's so dark in here hi scout so I'm conflicted. I will probably paint it. So for now, since I don't know, we're just gonna leave everything the way it is. We have Chloe, our nanny here this summer, one of my friends, the kid's old babysitter. And so I said, I'm sorry, Chloe, but you're gonna have to deal with the floral <laughs> wallpaper for now. I said, once we get your bed in here and your end tables, it'll look cute. Um, I'm gonna make this like up here a closet with rods and then she can do baskets down there. That way she doesn't need a dresser and it can be still spacious in here because it is kind of small, but I'm still finalizing my plan for in here. The powder bath. I like the small rooms because I feel like such small things can make a big impact. Gonna paint, we're gonna do white dub up here, Revere Peter down here, do some new little things that are gold, new mirror, new sconce, and just make it cute. There are so many rooms <laughs> in this house, which I'm excited for because the kids can grow up here. It really, truly has everything we need, and so, I'm excited to fill up peace with where we're at and not feel like we will outgrow this space or not have like what we need for our lifestyle. And so really thankful for that. It does have a full like workout room with look, ballet bar, mirrors, everything. We had these mats, we've had these for years. Dan already laid them down in here, but eventually we wanna do like a treadmill, like dumbbells, everything, a bouncing ball so I can bounce this summer <laughs> with belly bud, but just white paint in here, we really wanna brighten it up. There's no light fixture in here, so sorry it's dark, but this is a big bedroom. It's gonna be Eber's room, but for the summer, the kids are gonna share it. Again, right now we're keeping it really simple, and then this fall we'll do something that's like more specific to her and real girly and pretty. This space is all the kids. <laughs> so I wanna do a sectional big TV here for family moving nights. And then I haven't really told them yet, but on that back wall, I wanna do like a big indoor play gym with a rock climbing thing, foam pit, a slide, like a monkey bars on the ceiling so they can have a blast down here, especially on rainy days or when it's cold out, they can just have an area to play. And here's gonna be Canyon's room, but it's so dark in here. So I'm gonna try to like lighten it up a little bit. We'll do white. I think this wall will be like an accent wall. Smaller room than Ember's, but with boys, he plays outside a lot. And Ember has more like trinkets and little toys. So Canon doesn't need much space. And for the kids bathroom, it has this like tile for the shower goes all along the edge. And I don't like it. It gives like 
like a hospital feel. So again, eventually we're gonna take this down. I'll probably do the like bead board or something at the bottom. This isn't bad, so I'll probably keep it and just replace the faucet, but do like new mirror here, paint things to be gold, but for now, this room will probably stay how it is. Maybe we'll do white, who knows. All right, bear with me, the power is not on over here, but this room is Dan's bourbon room that I'm so excited for. This is his own space, it's gonna be great. We already have leather couches and chairs that we ordered and glass cabinets for over here for a bunch of bourbon. It's gonna be so pretty. I guess I can't really say pretty because it's a guy's room. It's gonna be so cool and rugged and awesome and sweet. <laughs> And it's dark, but this is a full bath and so we'll do like a light hunter green in here change up some fixtures But just keep it really simple simple updates here and this room will be Dan's podcast studio uh, But we're gonna do a big like six-foot table in here two leather no four leather office chairs and just make it like a hunting lounge and it'll be a really cool space for him to do his podcast in. So there is the before tour of our home. Thank you guys so much for coming alongside us in the past several months, but technically like several years of our life of all the transitions we've been through. Some exciting, some really hard, but all together good because they led us to where we are today. The past several months were a lot of trusting in the Lord, a lot of patience and a lot of prayer. And I'm so excited that we <laughs> waited and and we had the patience and we gave it to the Lord, gave our desires to the Lord because we truly are really at peace here. We're really excited to make it our own space and to move in. And I can't wait to show you guys how we are making our new house our home.